Hello friends, I hope that you are all doing well. Welcome to this discussion where we are talk, going to talk about uh, how to answer the question on uh, documents to prove a vaccination as you uh, fill out your DS-260 form. If you find this information useful, please subscribe for more. One of the first thing that you have to do immediately, you receive your DV lottery results and find out that you have been selected is to fill your DS-260 form. And there are so many advantages of uh, filling out your DS-260 form, submitting it in good time. And we can not overemphasize on that, that you have to fill it immediately and submit. And there is this issue with the documents for the vaccination. And in most countries, I'll give an example with Kenya, you will not be able to have that document at hand to show the vaccinations that you have had, uh, gone through. But you need this uh, information when filling the DS-260 form. You need to answer a question which will uh, be asking you if you have any documents that can establish that you had vaccinations that are according to the U.S. laws. You can't say no. To answer that question, uh, you need to say yes. Do you have the document to establish vaccination according to the U.S. Uh, laws? You say yes. And this is the reason why you have to say yes. You will have to go through a medical examination. That is before you go for your visa interview, TV interview. And during this vac um, medical examination, it has to be done in an hospital that has been approved by the U.S. Embassy in your country and also but done by the doctors who are approved by the U.S. Embassy in your country. So during this uh, medical examination, they are able to check for the vaccinations that you have. And if they find out there is any that you lack, they are able to administer that vaccination and put it in record that you have this um, vaccination. And what will just change is that if they administer the vaccination, then there will be maybe more charge, you'll be charged for that. So maybe your total cost for the medical examination may be higher than for someone who had all, all the vaccinations required. So once they administer that uh, vaccination that you did not have, they will put that in record. And once submitted to the U.S. Embassy, that will be enough proof to show that you have been vaccinated. Therefore, friends, do not delay in filling out your DS-260 form just because you do not have a document to prove that you have the vaccinations according to the U.S. laws. When you do that medical examination, you will be sorted. Friends, that's it for this discussion. I hope you found this information useful. If you did, please subscribe for more. I will see you all in the next one. Bye.